Hey everyone, have you guys heard about the privilege bonus in academic career? Yes, you heard me right. The privilege card. Do you know what is it? Okay, let's say you have a privilege card for a lounge. You get a free lounge access. And in this privilege card in academia, you can get access to labs, to big facilities, to big labs, big institutes rather. So what is this privilege card? So this privilege card is not for you, not for me. These are for the academic kids. Just like there are industry kids in Bollywood, there are also academic kids in, in India and in everywhere in the world. So these kids are exceptionally lucky because they can get access to the most renowned lab in India because their father, their mother, their uncle or their sister is in academia. So the likelihood that they would get a chance to do an internship, to explore academia or figure out what is good for them is very high. So their acceptance chance is very high. Think about a poor person who is sitting in a remote village whose father is basically a farmer, let's say, and they apply emails after emails after emails just because they don't know how to write the emails properly or let's say they don't have clear idea about academia they don't get one opportunity so what i wanted to say the opportunities are non-linear in academia this is something that i felt in academia and to some extent i'm also privileged so i'm the first phd from my family still i belong to a family where I don't have to support my family. At least I had enough amount of money or family support to do my daily work and all of these kind of things. So they can take care of themselves. I can take care of my own business. So I had that leverage at least. But there are many meritorious students from the villages, from the countryside, from the townships who are exceptionally bright, exceptionally brilliant. They just don't get the opportunity. Some of the time they had that difficulty in terms of applying. Imagine if they would have, they, if they got the opportunity, they could have done exceptionally well. At least they have that burn in their belly. Many cases, these academic child, they are privileged, but they're also very bright. They are very keen to do the research. They are very involved in the research project. But many a cases, which is the other side of the coin, they just wanted to explore. And they come to the lab, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work, sometimes they basically try to figure out things. So it's nothing bad from their side. But imagine if that same opportunity was given to a person who is from a remote village, wouldn't it be more beneficial? But this kind of disparity exists in academia and nobody's doing anything about it. Let me know your opinion about that. So I can say that overall, people who are not from a very bright background or very, given the fact that there exists a disparity within the academic system, what should these people who are from underprivileged background would do? Should they quit their dream to come to academia or should they fight back? It's a question I have no answer for. I think they should fight. They should email. They should rigorously send communications to people who are willing to listen to them. I know many of the people think or take this scenario in a political situation. Okay, think about a PI's term. Like they cannot give up the collegiality with his colleague or her colleague, right? That is why it's okay if their child or their some kind of relative comes to their lab and learns something. It, it is not going to harm them. But think in this way. Everything has a flip side. The flip side is, okay, if that person was not there in the lab, maybe there was another opportunity for an underprivileged person to come and work in the lab. Isn't it true? But in India, the resources are not unlimited. So even if the lab is well funded, still the resources is a limiting factor. So 
gaining more and more interns or manpower in the entire academia is not so easy. It's difficult from the PI's perspective. It's also difficult to get an internship from a student's perspective if they don't have a privilege card. And yet nobody knows what to do with these kind of privilege benefits. This is a burning problem. People hide it. People sort of like ignores it. But this exists in academia. At least I'm brave enough to talk about this thing. I have faced this situation. Like there are many places where I could have been selected. I didn't get selected. It could be an award. It could be a travel grant. It could be many other things. I'm not going to go into details about that. But I really want to hear your opinion. Did you have any kind of experience like this? Let me know in the comments.